Hello there. Today I'm making a big chocolate cake with my friend Richard. He's out buying the eggs. Here he comes now. Oh, hello, Mr. Mercaldi. I, I was getting the eggs just like you asked, and I... Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Richard, you're always in such a rush. Uh, sorry. I I'll go get more. Well, wait just a minute. We might have enough eggs for our recipe. Let's figure out how many eggs we have that are unbroken. So, we started with two cartons of six eggs. We can write that as 2 times 6. How many eggs is that in total? Correct. But Richard was in such a rush that he dropped two of them. We can write that as 12 minus 2. How many eggs are left unbroken? Very good. So we have 10 eggs left unbroken. Uh, do, do we have enough to make the cake? You're in luck, Richard. We do have enough eggs. But before we get started, I have a question for you. How do we write all of this as one equation? Remember, we have two cartons of six eggs minus two that fell on the floor. Exactly. So Richard, we have our full equation here. If we do it again, does it matter if we multiply first or subtract first? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, either one is fine. Let's just make the cake, huh? Oh, Richard, always rushing. Let's try to do it both ways. First, we multiply. 2 times 6 and we get 12. So far, so good. Then we subtract by 2 and get 10, which means we have 10 unbroken eggs. But if we subtract first, what happens? Let's see. We subtract 6 minus 2 and we get 4. Then we multiply 2 by 4 and get... Uh-oh. We get 8. Is that enough eggs to, to make the cake? That's not the point, Richard. The important thing to remember is that order matters. Right. But how do we remember what order to use? Good question, Richard. In this case, we can use parentheses to tell ourselves the order of the problem. Watch here. We know we need to figure out how many eggs we have. That's two cartons of six eggs, or two times six. So we should put parentheses around that first uh, to show we need to do it first. Exactly. Then the rest of the equation is easy. Great. Uh, let's start by... Oh, no! Oh, I dropped the... Oh. oh, boy. It's going to be a long day. While Richard is cleaning up, let's try another problem. Here we have 25 discs. We remove 10 and divide by 5. What does this equation look like? Very good. Let's say we want to subtract first. Where would we put the parentheses? Exactly. And if we do that, what will our answer be? Well, we subtract first. So that is 25 minus 10, which gets us good. And then we divide 15 by 5, which gets us very good. The final answer is 3. But what if we want to divide first? What would that equation look like? You got it. So let's start with the parentheses. 10 divided by 5 is, and 25 minus 2 is, right. Our final answer is 23. But wait, before when we subtracted first, our final answer was 3. And now, when we divide first, it's 23. What does that tell us? It tells us that we shouldn't rush, uh, that order is very important. That's right, Richard. And what is one way to write the order of an equation? Using parentheses. Always begin with the parentheses first. Very good. Now try these practice problems. Great. Uh, uh, let, let's go ahead and frost the cake, huh? Richard, we haven't even baked it yet. Oh, jeez.